Good evening, Team Exquisite Pearls. This is your uh, teammate, Adrian Oliver. I wanted to take this time to do a video to actually show you how um, I create my shipping labels using PayPal. It is very quick and easy to do. All you need to do is number one, have a PayPal account. Um, number two, have some type of printer to print out your shipping labels. And then if you're using um, shipping a shipping label, have them available as well. So once a customer has paid you through PayPal, you, sh you have a list of all your payments that were received. So these, I'm under activity in my PayPal. So I have some pending payments. I'm waiting for customers to pay. And then I have my list of completed payments. So I've just actually sent out a lot of packages this week. So I'm going to scroll down to a customer um, who paid, but I think she picked up her order uh, face to face. So here is um, a client um, of mine. So once she has paid, it shows me that she's paid. Once she's paid, it says payment received. And then I can go in here and I can go to print shipping label. Once I go into print shipping label, it's going to pull up another screen, okay? On that screen, here is the shipping information that I can actually change. So I'm going to go in, I'm going to leave the carrier United States Postal Service. I don't want to change that because I don't want to go to the post office. So I'm going to change priority mail to first class mail parcel service two to five days, okay? And then my package type, I can leave it as a large package, but I typically just change it to package the thick envelope, okay? You also need a scale to weigh the package. So don't try to do this without a scale because if the weight is off, they may charge you a fee, okay? So of course, let's say if I weigh it and it weighs three ounces, I'm gonna put three ounces in and then I'm gonna come over here and calculate. One good thing I like about PayPal is that uh, tracking is automatically included and I don't have to do anything. It's automatically checked. So anything that I, um, ship using PayPal shipping, I don't have to track it at all. It's automatically tracked that I can find out where it is if something were to happen. So then I'm going to go over here to shipping costs and I'm going to calculate shipping costs. Okay. Through the shipping costs, it gives me a good idea of what I have to pay to have it shipped to them. Typically with my parties, if it's an online party, I do a flat rate of $4. It does not matter. Um, anywhere between one piece of jewelry all the way up to four pieces of jewelry, it's $4. Anything um, above that, it's typically $6, okay? Um, in this case, the price of the, the item that I'm shipping is $2.61. That's what I have to pay. So in the amount of money that I'm getting from my clients, I automatically have the shipping automatically um, covered. So then I'm going to press confirm and pay and then it'll take me to another screen where I can actually print out the shipping label and I don't even have to leave my house. So that's one of the good things that I like about PayPal is that I can send an invoice, my customers pay, once they pay then I can go in and create a shipping label and ship off their items and I don't even have to leave my house because for me I don't have a lot of time to run to the post office. So this is quick and easy and it's convenient for me. So I hope this video helps. Um, if you have any additional questions, leave them down in the comment section below and I'll be more than happy to answer them. Have a great day.